Hello everybody, my name is Aaron aka Point Tate and welcome back to the WRS Smackdown 2 Season Mode with Christopher Jericho and we are in December so this is actually oddly enough great timing and did I just see that we're in a fatal ballway with The Rock, Road Dog, Grandmaster Sex Aid so we still can't get away from Road Dog, The Rock has finally shown up but he is still not putting his goddamn title on the line we're never going to get a title shot, are we? Will it be a Christmas miracle? Will we get one today? Will we get one on SmackDown? Blaine has shown up. Although granted, we are later on in the show than two of the people that are responsible for one of the highest rated segments in Raw history. <laughs> for those of you who don't know that weird stat, the highest rated non-overrun segment in Raw history for a long, long time was the Mean Street Posse versus the Stooges. <laughs> it was very weird. I think it like it came did it was it right after the This Is Your Life segment between The Rock and Mankind and that's why it had so many views. Because so many people were switching over to see that and then they just caught the start of the Posse versus the Stooges. I can't remember. There's a weird start like that. Anyway, I was told I'd have a special match tonight. I mean, yeah, who's my opponent? Well, there's three of them. One guy I think you've never faced before. One guy who you face all the goddamn time. And one guy who you've been trying to face most of the series. So... <laughs> it's going to be an interesting one. All right, okay, we've got more of the Stooges versus the Posse. Hardcore match this time. Joey Abs and Pat Patterson. Which keep Rodney out of the equation. We want to sell some tickets. Was that one each? Joey Abs beat Pat Patterson, but Jared Briscoe beat Pete Gas. Oh, it's one for one. Things be heating up. Remind me to never talk like that ever again. <laughs> it's the D.O. Double G. Road Diggity Dog is here. Because we can't get away from this goddamn dog. Don't get me wrong. I am a dog lover. I absolutely adore dogs. I generally prefer dogs to most people. But this goddamn dog needs to be sent to the farm. The Good Father versus Gangrel. The, look at the Gangrel picture. The Gangrel picture is just ace. It's just fantastic. Alright, you know what? This match would absolutely slap. I can't do that. This match would be like top tier. This would be fantastic. Matt Hardy won. That's a surprise. Matt went in there with three of the radicals but walked out the victor. It's a shame that Dean lost since Dean's part of our group, but there you go. The Milkaholics. I just realised, is Kurt Angle in the main event? Hey, if I'm not main eventing, at least I'm happy one of the Milkaholics is. Alright, here we go. A random fatal four-way. We can do this. There appears to be no story going into this. Other than we want the goddamn title. And Road Dog won't leave us alone. It's like Road Dog wants to be the roadblock for us getting the WWF title, and he just keeps inserting himself into the picture right by us every time we get close to the belt. And then just throwing Grandmaster Sexy for the sake of it. Just to even out the numbers, you know? Here's a question Did any of. Too cool. I know Rikishi had title matches, but did like Scotty Too Hot or Grandmaster Sexy ever had world title matches in WWE or WWF? I don't remember any. Doesn't mean it didn't happen. Why is everyone looking at me? It's Fatal Four Way as well, isn't it? So it's first pin or submission. Grandmaster's just dancing. If nothing else, he's great at the uh, the meme. Wheel kick. I 
I've just got off recording some SVR 2007 and realised Shelton Benjamin's got a wheel kick as well, so... I wheel kick a lot in these videos. But I also recorded um, what's going to be coming out on Christmas Day earlier as well, so there was no wheel kicks in that. But there was a very OP move that you will see if you watch the Christmas Day video that puts out. If you can watch it any time, you don't have to watch it on Christmas Day. It's not like it's going away afterwards, it's just there. Just let me do a move. Oh, that's not the move I was intending, but sure. I somehow nearly missile drop kick to the rock while aiming for road dog. It's a very easy mistake to make. Headbutt your knee. I feel like that'd do more damage to me than you. There we go, clocks him. You no, know I didn't I didn't want to get punched in the face. <laughs> Words to live by. I didn't want to get punched in the face. Now, I'm going after Dwayne. I do have to keep my eye on those two in the ring though. On your neck, son! God oh, damn it, Dwayne. A little flipping. Oh my god, I hit him after he did a suplex. Okay, that was cool. Can't deny it. That was that was pretty awesome. I almost did it again to Grandmaster by mistake. Badger driver! Welcome, no, no, no. <laughs> Welcome to Snapmaresville. Population U. Why is Grandmaster Sex's moveset actually like, really good? God damn it. <laughs> Just flying donkey punch. Dropping Dwayne. Like a bad habit. I mean, he's got like, the stroke and stuff. It's an oddly good move set. It's not bad. Come on, boy! Damn it. This is going to be a risk. This is definitely going to be a risk. If I can get it. Walls! Is this it? Is Dwayne going to tap? Yes, he did! Somewhat surprisingly, I got the world champ to tap. Center of the ring. Just give me a goddamn title match. Somebody book Dwayne to defend the championship at this point, I'd have him defend it against anyone. Ideally me, but anybody would be fine. <laughs> Just defend it at all would be nice. But I'm satisfied with my victory. I should be world champion right now. Somebody give me a goddamn bell. My trousers have been falling down all season. All I want for Christmas is a world title match. A world title match. A world title match. Oh, Kurt's not in the main event. God damn it. It's Kane versus Billy Gunn. Alright. He said Kurt's taking on X Pack with a referee, Rikishi. Do you think he wears the referee shirt but still has the phone poking out at the bottom? <laughs> Either way, Kurt wins. Milkaholics. We're two for three tonight. In the victory column. So, me and Kurt got a victory. Dean Malenko didn't. Kane apparently wrecked Billy Gunn in the main event. Daddy ass, not doing so well. Oh, hello. Hello, 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 hello. What's going on here then? Why are we suddenly getting a cutscene? WWF New York, where the fans can be part of the WWF experience, the only place to watch SmackDown while visiting New York, because apparently SmackDown is not aired in America. <laughs> Well, apparently WDRF New York is a thing now. Sweet. 
Well, let's see what's going on on SmackDown. You can only watch it WWF New York because it, it's not aired anywhere else, apparently. And we're not booked! <laughs> what the hell? First show we've not been booked on. Ferrisat vs. Albert, Test of Peru, Leo vs. Raven again, Rancid Adam and Bradshaw, Dean Malenko's got a match with Crash Holly, so that's cool. Ooh, one of the most Alex is booked. Bubba, Taz, and Hardcore Holly. Edge and Daddy Ass. Stone Cold, Triple H, The Undertaker, and Road Dog again. <laughs> Why are we not booked? Is this going to change? Are we going to get booked? We can but dream. Because this is the first show that we've not been booked on all season, I think. I could be wrong there, but if I'm not mistaken. Oh, but we're talking to our boy who is booked tonight. Now, Dean, you have to remember. Win. You've been on a bit of a losing streak recently, Dean. You need to turn that around. Kurt turned it around. You've been having some bad luck, Malenko. Brute just wrecking test at the start of the match there. And still won. Brute's one of those people that I feel like if I met him in real life, I would be absolutely terrified of him. And I'm not terrified of many people. The list is extremely short of people I am terrified of, but I feel like Farouk would be on that list. I would not want to mess with him. This match again, for some reason. It, this crops up periodically this season since I introduced Raven into it. God, Lee is having a bad time. Oh, had a massive comeback victory. Okay. That's an Adam and Bradshaw. Go on, Adam. You can do it. You can beat him. I believe in you. I believe in the heart of the cards. Okay, apparently I was wrong. The cards lied to me. Alright, Dean, here we go. I believe in you. Come on, Malenko. Power of the Milkaholics. Come on, Dean. God damn it, Dean. I'm disappointed. I'm very disappointed. Maybe we need to start reviewing Dean's place in the Milkaholics. Nah, who am I kidding? We gotta keep him around. Can't cross my mind for a minute. This might end up being the shortest episode of this season though. No, it wasn't a pay-per-view. Billy Gunn's having a bad time about it recently as well. This seemed like it was an almost uneventful SmackDown. <laughs> Nothing's really happened. But apparently you can watch it at WWF New York. <laughs> Billy Gunn realising that he's been losing multiple times recently. Billy's having a bad time. Daddy Ass needs to recollect himself. Trish finds it pinky incredibly tasty, it seems. Alright. Stone Cold, Triple H, Undertaker, Road Dog for some reason. Watch him win. Oh, okay, now Triple H won. I imagine the DX agenda was a thing there. Well, that is going to do it for this episode then, so thank you everybody so much for joining me in this one. It's been a genuine pleasure as per usual. Like, comment, subscribe, you know the drill, all the fun stuff, and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!